How's it going? Vasco here from the Angular University. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to do our first HTTP call in our lesson service. So, coming right up. Take a look at this version of lesson service. It's still retrieving the lessons data from a variable in memory. What we're going to do is we're going to fetch this data from the backend via an HTTP call, a GET call. For that, let's inject the standard HTTP Angular 2 service. So this is a service that comes together with Angular. We're going to use it to do a GET call using this.http.get. We pass in the URL that we want to hit on the servers, in this case, slash lessons, and let's have a look at the server. The server is just a simple express server for uh, testing purposes, for demo purposes. I will show you in an upcoming lesson how to set up such a server. Take a look, once the server gets a get, so get lessons, it's going to return a JSON object that contains the lessons data. Take a look, the lessons data is still the same data that we saw before, but right now it's going to be served by our backend. In order to get back the result from the backend, we need to subscribe to the output of the get method. The output of get is an RxJS observable and we are going to go in detail on what that is and how to use it. Right now, we are going to subscribe to the output of get and we are going to pass it a function. So this function has one argument, lessons data, which is the data that came from the backend. And on the body of the function, we have only one line where we are going to take the result that came from the backend. So lessons data and we're going to assign it to the service lessons variable. Notice that we are getting here an error and this is because what we receive from the get call is not immediately what we sent as response from the backend. What we get is a response object that has other information other than the data. So what we need to do is using the map RxJS operator we need to transform the response into only the data. So we do that by calling map and then response.json. This will transform the response into the output of response.json. And like that, in our subscriber method, we receive only the data, the lessons. Note that the HTTP service, like the lesson service, needs to be provided at the bootstrap call of the application so that it's available for dependency injection. So in this case, we are going to pass in HTTP providers to the bootstrap call. Without this, the HTTP service will not be available at runtime and you will get an error. Let's now see all of this in action. If we reload the application, we can see that all the data is still there. And if we open the network panel of our developer tools, we can see that an HTTP request was done and that we received the data from the backend. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to save some data to the server using Angular 2 HTTP and add that to our service. In the following lesson, coming right up.